Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in this video, we want to talk about the import statement in Python. And we actually saw some of this stuff in the previous videos when I was giving demonstrations on how to actually write files and, and things like that. Um, and when we imported the sys and everything. Now, one of the ways of making a py, uh, program in Python much more flexible is to break up your code into different files. Instead of different uh, functions within your file, it's best to have different files that handle different pieces of functionality. And another reason for that is because you could have, hey, Bob, you work on this function uh, in, that, in your own file and I'll work on my own file as well. And, and you can have entire teams working on different files and stuff, but it's never a good idea, even in enterprise development now with all the tools we have available for multiple teams to work in the same file at the same time. It comes in, that's where like we get all this conflicts and merging stuff when we have source control, whether it's GitHub or TFS or something else, but uh, th th that situation sucks. So it's, it's ideal to try to separate your files out into different teams and developers and have them work on it. So how do we do that in Python? Let's go ahead and we're going to keep all this in place. For, so this is my smart function we talked about in the last video. And we're going to create a new file. And the only file I have in my directory is called first file, which has this function in it. And we're going to just do some terrible naming and call it second file dot py and inside here we're going to look at the import statement so we're going to say import um, from actually no we're going to say from first file import and then we're going to import the name of our function my smart function we're going to say import that so now in this second file i could call my smart function and once again, I'll say five and five, which is going to be add because I'm going to pass in this third parameter of add. So it's going to take these two numbers and, and, and add them together. So it'll print out 10 to the console if everything goes well. So let's go ahead and go to our debug screen and press play. And we were able to take my smart function from another file and import it into this second file. And then we're able to call it just as if it was in our file. And here it is, output it to the screen 10. So that's pretty badass, right? I mean, that's how all of the Python programs are created. You have all these different files. If you go to any sort of complicated Python project, they're going to be broken up into all these different files. And you're going to have all these import statements at the top. And that's all that import stuff is doing. Now, here's another thing that you can do. We imported just this one function from the file. Now, what if this file had 15 or 20 different functions? Well, in that case, let's create another function where we said define uh, another, another function and we'll say print, holy crap, this is another function. All right, so now we have two, but what happens if I said, you know what, I want to, I want to, what do we call this, uh, another function? What if I said I want to call another function and we don't have to pass anything into that function, is this going to work? I'll tell you the answer to that before I even run it, and that is not going to work because we did not import it. We only imported this one function from the file, so when Python gets this, you're going to get this name error. It says another function is not defined. It doesn't know what the hell another function is because you didn't define it in this file and you didn't import it from another file. So how can you import everything? Now we could obviously just simply say another function and that would solve the problem, but that's not the purpose of this example here. I want to import everything. And how do we do that? We do it with the star. So we're going to say import all. So now if I run this, it went to first file and it grabbed everything that was in there. And that way it knew what another function was. So it says, holy crap, this is another function. Now, one of the things about doing this though is what if um well really another good thing about this is that you can import all the code from first file but say you know what i i want everything in first file because i want to be able to call my smart function so what do we call this we call my smart function we're like this, this is defined perfectly i love i love what this is doing here and i want to, i want that uh, but pretend there's a ton of other crap in this file and, and this part right here you don't really like. You don't want it, but you still don't want to have to import every single function if there was like 25 of them in here just because you don't want this one. So the better thing to do would be able to override, override what this is. And you could do that simply by defining it from within here. So you could say import all and that way I can call my, my special smart function and we'll do the same thing, 5 plus 5 and we'll say add. In fact, we'll make it more, uh, we'll, we'll do something different, say multiply, and that's going to return 25, obviously. 
And now we're gonna say, you know what? I want to call another function, but let's go ahead and just define another function. So I could just define the function over again in here and, and override it by saying define another function and then print I overrode this joint. So if I said print, or you know, I'll just say another, I'll call another function now. So even though it imported another function, I overrode it in the file here, and it's not going to call this one anymore because another function got redefined to this. So let's go ahead and play it. And you'll see it prints out 25 there, and then the second one, I overrode this joint. So this, and the reason why I'm getting into this in functions is because you can do this in function, functions, but when we look at classes in Python, this is gonna make a lot more sense because there is gonna be a ton of different occasions when you get into more complex Python programming where you're gonna to need to override class methods that, that you end up importing. So you import a class and you're like, you know what, I need to override what this is doing here because I need it to do something more. In some cases, you want it to do everything it was doing, but you're gonna to add to it instead of just completely doing something different. But there's multiple reasons why you need, to, you need the flexibility of being able to override these things. So that is the purpose there. All right, guys, that's the import statement and what that is all about in Python. Let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe, please share this video, please upvote. Thank you, bye. Hey guys, so a lot of you ask me, how do I get my foot in the door to become a programmer? And I just want to take a moment to mention Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp is a 12-week intensive course that focuses on the technologies of the here and now for web development. Uh, some of the things that they're actually teaching in this 12-week course, it's geared to get you into the, the industry by focusing on things like jQuery, Node.js, React, Angular, how to use GitHub. So a lot of the things that you're going to need to do as a developer, as soon as you start, they're going to be teaching you in this in this coding boot camp. And the entire goal is to be able to get you into the industry within 12 weeks. So if you guys are interested in learning more information about Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp, just check out the link in the description tab of this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.